Hi, it's Robbie from Southern California, and today I'm doing something I always say I don't want to do. I'm harvesting. I'm going to harvest all my zucchini. Not because I want to, but I have so many, and if I leave it on the plant, they're going to stop producing. So what I'm going to do is go through, I'm going to harvest them, I'm going to be keeping some for cooking, and I'm going to start freezing. Let's get some of these big ones off. I'm going to stick them in my wheelbarrow. And later on tonight, when I'm not doing anything, I'm going to start to freeze. Now there's a small one on here that I'm going to twist off and take off and use that for dinner tonight. I'll explain to you what I'm going to do after I get this all done. There's some more small ones here. I think I'll leave that. Let me see what's in here. Okay, these have been removed. Oh, there's that one. Oh, dear. You know what? Maybe I'll talk while I do this. You can store zucchini. It's not my favorite vegetable to store. The skin gets really hard. Let's see if I can get this one. It kind of twisted around the plant. Well, you know what? I'm going to remove some of the bottom leaves. The thing is, it gets really hard. And I, you can bake it. You can cut it in half and bake it. And I don't like that. So what I'm going to do, if I can get this one off. You know what? I'm going to have to twist this one off. I don't always twist because you can damage. Oh, look at this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is some of these are going to have seeds in there. So I'm going to peel them because the skin might get a little hard. I may not peel all of them, but I might peel some. Then I'm going to cut them up. I'm going to cut them in half, and I'm going to get all the seeds out. Then I'm going to slice them up. Oh, big disc. And I'm going to put them on a cookie sheet. I'm going to freeze them. Now, once they're all frozen, I'm going to put them in Ziploc bags. This way, if I want to do a stir fry, I can just go in the freezer, pull the big bag out, take out what I want, let it thaw a little bit in the refrigerator, and then cut it up and use it for a stir fry. If I want to make a thickener in a soup, I can take it out of the freezer, what I think I'm going to need, and then I can whip it up in the blender and add that to, let's say, a soup and make it like a cream soup. If I want to make a zucchini bread, a zucchini cake, same thing. It will all be there this winter for me. It's okay to just store if you want, like I said, but this will really get hard. I mean, it gets hard. Like a pumpkin gets hard, it gets really hard. And then you would have to bake it and take the pulp out and all that. But if you do it when it's fresh like this, do it within 24 hours, you can either leave the skin on, you can peel some of the skin off, and then you can have it ready to eat. That's what I want. I want it ready to go. So when I'm in a hurry, I know what I want to get. There's no more here, but there's a bunch down there. And let's go do that. Excuse my back. Oh, there's more that way too. I decided I've got to get it all off because if I don't, it will stop producing. Now that's kind of defeating the purpose, even though I have so much, but this way I'm going to have all winter. Now, a lot of this I have removed. So these are good. Oh no, there's one here. Now this is really going to help the plants. So I've got a couple things I can do. I, let me start from the end and come back. It'll be better. Now I can look at some of these plants if I don't like the looks of them and I can replace the plants. We're so early still in the summer that, that I can replace them. Or I can just let them be and they're just going to take off once I start removing all the fruit. They'll, they'll want to produce again. And this has got a bunch of small ones. Uh, you know what? I'm going to take it anyways. I figured I had already bored you enough with my trimming. So I went through and I just cut the rest. And now we're going to go to the truck bed. All right. So we've gotten all that. Do you really want to come see this? All right. Let me grab you and we'll go do that. And then we'll go do that. So when I got to the truck bed, you know me, I not only picked the squash, I started picking leaves and stuff. You didn't need to sit there and watch me for 10 minutes pulling leaves off. So I got the one zucchini, the rest are fig leaf gourd. I've also got some other squash in there, spaghetti squash and butternut squash. Now let's go to the driveway and get the rest of them there. Let's see, do I still have the one in here? Oh yes, I do. All right. Oh. Okay. I think we're done, finally. Yes, I speeded this up for you because I was also taking leaves off. There's my haul. Look at this. And you would think, oh, 
wow, she just did it. Harvest. No, I do a harvest every day. I come out here every day and pick what I need. If I need tomatoes, I'll pick a big bowl of tomatoes. When I need squash, I come here and pick squash. When I want some, let's say, collard or kale, I come out and I pick what I need. This is an amazing purple tree collard. You know why? Because there was a celery in there I pulled out and this whole plant was covered in insects. I don't think I showed it when I did that video. And as soon as I got rid of the celery, look at this. It just took off and it's beautiful because it's healthy now. It's not fighting with the celery, but look at this. Look at the hole. Can you see that? This is amazing. I don't even know how many pounds there are. Let's turn you around for a minute. There's big ones, there's small ones. Now with the small ones, I could just wash this up and just freeze it like that if I wanted to, but I'm gonna be using that now. And there's another small one I picked just to get it off the plant. With the big ones, I'll kind of analyze them. If the skin is soft, like something like this, I could just slice it up in pieces, just like that, and then put it on a cookie sheet and freeze it. Soon as it's rock hard, you put it in Ziploc bags, then you just remove it as you want. I do that with tomatoes. You can remove it as you want, is what I was saying. But yes, I do it with tomatoes, tomatillos, peppers. You could do it with anything. Once it's frozen, just fill up a bag. You can even add to it, but it's better to kind of keep it separate so this way you know what's fresher and what's not. This is that little tiny spaghetti squash. And though it didn't grow, see something happened to it? It doesn't matter. You can grade this up and add this to eggs. You could chop it up, put it in soup. You can still eat it. I have been eating spaghetti squash at all stages. We grew so much one year that nobody wanted it. I started picking them small and they were fantastic, but I still like zucchini. Zucchini is one of my favorites. See how this one curved because it was in the tote and it hit the edge of the tote and it kept going. But there's the hull. I'm gonna freeze a lot because if I don't, I'm not crazy about it when it dries up the skin. It just becomes too hard to deal with in the kitchen. So let's get this in the freezer and then that's it. You know what, let's go into the kitchen and let me show you how we can get this frozen in different ways so we can have it all winter. Come on, let's go and then we'll come back outside. So as you can guess, I wasn't planning on doing a freezing segment here, but I'll show you what you can do here. It's really easy and I want everybody to know how fast you can take care of your zucchini. You can peel it or not peel it, it will be up to you. If it's fresh from the garden, the peel will still be soft, so I generally leave it. Here what I'm doing is I'm cutting it in half, I'm taking the ends off and I'm cutting it in half. Now the reason I'm cutting up the zucchini is because it's full of seeds. I don't wanna freeze it full of seeds. Now some people happen to like the seeds, they don't mind it and that's perfectly fine. If the seeds are big enough, of course you can take them out and roast them or you can take them out, wash them and put them away for next year or even grow them this year. So here I am spooning out all the seeds and I'm going to compost them or grow them. I'm not sure yet, but this is just so easy. So you take all the seeds out and you're going to do it from both halves. Then what you're going to do is so here, I haven't done the other one yet, but you slice it up in the big chunks, oh, about an inch. It's up to you to two inches thick. And next you want to line it on a cookie sheet or some sort of pan. Don't lay them on top of each other. It makes it much easier. Just lay them flat like this. And here I went back and took the second half and took the seeds out. Now remember, when you're taking them fresh out of the garden, it's always easier to cut out up in the first 24 to 48 hours and then the skin starts to harden up. So you wanna do it when it's fresh. And then with the other part, I took off the other end and with the part that is attached to the plant, closer to the trunk of the plant, a lot of times there's no seeds there. So you don't have to worry about it. So I just took out the few seeds that were at the end there. The rest has no seeds and I just cut them into disc. That's all you have to do. It's really simple. Now you just lay them in the pan and everything will be nice and flat and it will freeze perfect this way and they won't stick to each other. So you will have separate zucchini discs. Now all you have to do is pop it in a freezer. You can put it in the freezer anywhere from four hours till overnight. Just sit it in there and let it do its thing by getting nice and hard so they're individual discs is what you want. Go back the next day, be so excited that they're frozen solid and there it is. 
ready to now pack. So what you do is you take them out, make sure your hands are clean. My hands are always cleaned and your zucchini was washed before you start. Now I take a Ziploc bag and I date it. So like, let's say July, 2022. And I'm not gonna put the exact date. I'm just gonna write zucchini on it because this won't fill the bag. So I can continue to do some more and continue to fill the bag. So I just put July, but that's it. See how nice and separate they are? You can just pile them in there. Just like you'd buy something from the grocery store like tater tots, they're all separate. This is separate when it's frozen. And now you just drop it in the freezer and you have it in the winter when you want it. Cause right now we still have fresh squash. We won't need this. Now there's another way of freezing it for different methods of cooking. Here is a nice small zucchini. There's no seeds in this one. So it makes it much easier. And I'm gonna grade this one up. Now, if it would have had seeds, you can do the same thing. You can peel it or not peel it, take the seeds out and then grate it. So you wanna grade the zucchini up in the fashion in which you like to grate it. You could do it by hand, which I do, or you can put it in a machine and grate it in a machine. Now, zucchini is full of water. And since you grate it, you might as well wring out some of the water. Just squeeze it out and get some of the dampness moisture out of your zucchini. You can leave it if you want. If you're gonna put it in soup or something, it won't matter. But if you wanna come back and make zucchini patties or something, mmm, so good. It's sometimes better to have less water. So go ahead and squeeze out what you can. Just do whatever you wanna do. Now here's the fun part, how you can store it for the winter. I get these trays when I sometimes buy mushrooms. That's pretty much the only produce I buy. And I keep the trays. See how perfect they are? Look at the trays. I pack my grated zucchini in there. I don't add salt or anything to it. You can add seasoning or if you want or whatever you want to do. Remember, this is just to show you how I do it. I want you to do it the way it works for you. I pack it in tight and you can either leave it like that and put it in the freezer or you can do it separate. See, they would stack really nice if you have a whole bunch. I don't have a whole bunch. So I'm going to take it just like this. I put them in the freezer. All right. Now you can leave them overnight if you want or check them out. Maybe in a few hours they'll be frozen. So just put them in the freezer like that. And then when you come back and it's like, wow, they're frozen. Now look what you've got. This is so fun. I love it. I label my bag like I did before. I'm going to put July 2022 because I can make more now. You saw all the zucchini I picked. And then, of course, I write zucchini just in case I don't know what it is later. And now watch this. This is like magic. I'm so excited. It works so good. Look at this. They pop out. Look at that. I have a square of grated up zucchini and I just place them in there. So I'm gonna put these two in there right now and I'm gonna make more later and fill that bag up. But look, I can take one square out and thaw it in the refrigerator and then cook it for dinner all in the winter. When I don't have zucchini, I'm gonna have zucchini to do whatever I want with. So I'm gonna have sliced zucchini and grated zucchini. That's it. Now you just put it in the freezer and don't worry about it until you're ready for it. And that's all you have to do. It can't get any easier than this. I love it. And I'm going to have zucchini all winter this time. With that, have a wonderful, wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow and grow all you can. Bye-bye.